Fossil Fuels by kscience.com. In this video, we're going to look at three types of non-renewable resources, oil, gas, and coal. All three of them are fossil fuels. And we're firstly going to look at the extraction of coal. Coal is mined, so people have to mine the coal, and it is extracted from the ground via mining. In this picture here, you can see real miners at work mining coal. Oil is also underground. You do not mine oil. What you do is you drill for oil and then you extract it through pipes that go into the oil field beneath the ground. Oil is extracted from underneath the ground and then stored in very large tanks. This here is an oil field in real life. Gas is also found underground and gas is extracted in a similar way to oil whereby you drill for the gas and then you extract it and store it in very large tanks. So to summarize, all three of them are extracted from underground. So what are their general uses? Well, oil, gas, and coal are all used in generating electricity. Oil, however, is also used in transport. So crude oil is refined to different types of fuels for cars, planes, motorbikes, etc. Coal and gas are not used in transportation. Gas and oil are used in heating. So in the house, you can use oil and gas for heating. You can burn coal to heat a house, but it's not very common nowadays. So their advantages are that they are relatively cheap to extract. So it's very easy to control the supply and the production of oil, gas and coal. If the demand for oil goes up due to increased or increased transport usage, it's very easy to increase the supply of oil to match the demand. But what if demand falls? It's very easy to limit the production of oil, which will then decrease the supply to match the decreased demand. So supply can be controlled to meet the demand. And there is currently enough fossil fuels to meet the current demands. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. One of the main concerns of the use of fossil fuels is that they're eventually going to run out. Oil, gas and coal are non-renewable. They will run out eventually. So as you can see here, supply of oil, gas and coal decreases over time until the oil, gas and coal supplies will run out. Fossil fuels are very polluting. When oil and coal are combusted, they release sulfur dioxide, SO2, which is a large contributor to acid rain. However, carbon dioxide is a product of combustion of all the fossil fuels. So when oil, gas and coal are combusted, CO2 is released into the atmosphere. CO2 is the main cause of climate change as well as global warming. Oil is transported around the world in oil tankers. So if there's to be an accident on an oil tanker, whereby the ship's hull breaks, there can be an oil spill, whereby oil is spilled into the seas and oceans. As you can see here in this picture, this can cause vast devastation to animal habitats and the surrounding ecosystems, as well as impacting on humans who live in that area. So remember, oil, gas and coal will eventually run out. They are a non-renewable resource. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com 
for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.